Hello everyone, this is going to be a very quick video to explain to you how to use EFT on yourself. So EFT uh, stands for Emotional Freedom Technique. It's um, a modality that combines um, working with the mind and working with the energy. And that's why I really like it because it helps you to align your energy with your thoughts. So it's very useful to clear blocks, to clear unhelpful beliefs. Um, so say, for example, you were using an affirmation, um, I, am, um, I am happy and successful. It's a bit vague. I might want to use something else, but let's start with that. And a part of you didn't feel that. If you say this affirmation, there will be a resistance in you. Because one part of you wants to be happy and successful and the other part of you knows that you're not. And it's getting nowhere. It's like a tug of war. One part of you tugging in one direction, the other one in the other. Now I'm aware that I'm doing this video a little bit in a context of a question that was asked about um, doing EFT for issues for our children, which we can do because they affect us and we're so close to them that by working on ourselves, we work on them. Even if it's just by reducing our own anxiety around issues. So I'm gonna do a quick round of um, EFT. It consists of tapping on meridians <coughs> around um, the head, um, on the chest and um, also, well, I'll simplify it so you have a very, very simple sequence. Um, not all of it needs to be done. And if you were in a public place, you can actually uh, do it in your mind. So you can imagine the tapping in your mind and it will calm you down and it will have the same effect. This is the beauty of energy work is that you can do it with the imagination as well. So I'm going to take my glasses off because um, tapping involves... Um, um, some of it around the eyes and the glasses will be in the way. That means I can't see a thing on my screen. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's not moving, so we should be fine. So we start, um, well, actually we start with the first affirmation. So suppose I felt um, overwhelmed today. I'm, I'm going to start with the feelings that I really have and being honest with myself. And I know that at the moment I do feel overwhelmed quite a lot. And when I feel overwhelmed, it's almost like I want to punish myself because I'm not good enough to feel happy. Um, and why can't I be more chilled, you know? It, there's that, that energy of, of judgment. So even though, so we're gonna start with what's called the karate chop, which is to tap very gently on the side of the hand whilst we do the first affirmation. And the first affirmation usually starts, and I'm saying usually because I want you to use the words that feel the most comfortable for you but I'm giving you um, a first statement, just a starting point. So it says, even though I feel overwhelmed at the moment, I still completely love and accept myself. Now, instead of saying love and accept myself, you could say love and forgive myself, whatever works best. And you do that three times. You say the affirmation three times whilst you tap very gently on the side of your hand. Once you've done that, you start a series of affirmation, and the way I like to do it, it's a little bit like the Abraham Hicks scale of emotion. I don't know if you haven't heard about it, Google it. Abraham Hicks are these um, spiritual teachers that work through Esther Hicks, um, and they, um, they help people feel better, but they say, and this is so true, that you can't go from A to B in one big jump. So if you were at the low scale of emotions and really negative uh, emotions because of your situation or what you're going through, you can't just start saying, I'm happy and make that big leap. They may make you move through a scale. And um, the scale is what it is, you know, um, you, you might resonate with all of it or only parts of it, but it doesn't matter. What you need to understand is that you want to take baby steps towards feeling a little bit better. And this is how I do the EFT. So I will start by doing tapping on the top of my head and you do that with the whole hand on the top of the head and very very gently on the crown if you imagine that it was your crown chakra you're just tapping very gently and you say I feel really overwhelmed at the moment I'm really really stressed and then the second point is right in the middle of your brow 
above your eye probably use like above your pupil and you do it with two fingers again you do it very very gently to make sure you know you're not tapping heavily you're just very very gently prodding on the meridian and I would say I'm feeling really tired at the moment I have a lot on my plate so the next one is um, if you draw a line across your eyes again the pupils and you uh, land and there's that little dip on the side of your head so you want to tap here again you use two fingers and you go very very gently the fourth place on your head is right underneath your eye straight down the line from where you tapped at first on your brow okay now the next one is just underneath your nose above your lip then on your on your chin and then the next one is the uh, pain point just a little bit under your what's that bone color bone I think it's called so you just tap gently here you might want to rub a little bit to find where it's painful and then you tap on it very gently then the next one is under the arm right where your bra if you wear one is you just tap under the arm here so it says make a nice little sound and then you use the flap of your wrist and you tap here again and I'm gonna skip the you can do all every single finger but then I go back to the karate chop now do the round as many times as you need to until you're familiar so top of the head top of the eye side of the eye under the eye under the nose chin pain point bra line wrist karate chop and of course you start with a karate chop. Um, I, the first time I did this, I felt absolutely uncomfortable. I thought I was like, um, I felt so self-conscious, but I really want to encourage you to just try it because it does calm the nervous system. And what have you got to lose? Um, do it, do it. And, and what you do is also you work through the affirmation. So you could go from, I'm feeling overwhelmed to saying, but I know, I know I have a way to feel better and I'm going to take good care of myself. And this is what I'm going to do. And I'm good at looking after myself. I've learned so much how to do that. So you want to just move through that scale from being, oh, I feel completely overwhelmed to moving yourself to the point of there is a lot going on in my life right now, but I know I can cope with it. And I'm going to maybe trim down everything else that is too much at the moment and um, go into slow mode, conservation mode. Okay, so I hope this was helpful. And if you were going to tap for one of your children, you would say the affirmations thinking of your child. So you would say, even though um, little Johnny is absolutely horrible at the moment and has tantrums every two minutes, I deeply love and accept him. And you just keep doing it and you do the affirmation and everything now if you were stuck with the words then don't use words just tap hold the person in your mind or hold yourself in your mind or hold the situation and tap until you find that your energy calms down and you feel more centered and calmer okay i hope it's helped uh, put a comment on the under this video and let me know if it was good and um i'd love to hear from you um you can find me on my page. It's called Ange de Lumière, author, uh, on Facebook. Um, but probably the best way to find me, because my name's not very easy to, to spell, is to go um, to thefrenchspirituallawyer.wordpress.com. Thank you very much for your time.